Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is probably one of the coolest, most unique little power stations that I've reviewed yet on this channel. Um, and the performance that this thing puts out is absolutely incredible. So this is the brand new release offering from Anchor. This is the Solix C800. Now, it is a 768 watt hour lithium iron phosphate power station. It's got a 1200 watt continuous rated inverter. You can bump that up to 1600 watts if you're running things like a heat gun or a coffee maker. It just lowers the voltage a little bit, but 1200 watts continuous running on this little guy. It's got 10 ports, regulated output on the DC car socket side, so you can run your fridges off of it just fine. But it's got one extremely unique feature on this that I have never seen on another power station, and it's actually very useful. It is not a gimmick. So if you open up this top lid here, there's a little button that says push. You open it up and the lid comes open and you've got two little camping lanterns right here and a telescoping pole that opens up, close this lid, and this fits right in here. Screw it down. And you've got, well, it's too tall for this camera. So it goes up about three feet. So we're just gonna keep it here for right now so I can get it in the screen. But these two lanterns, which are charged by the actual power station inside this case. So these little lanterns is what I'm gonna call them, have three modes on them. You kind of have your flashlight, you've got that type of lantern light, and then you have a really warm lantern light. Now what makes these unique is there's magnets in the bottom and there is a ball head on top of this mast. And you can stick these guys however you want and create just like a nice little light around wherever you're working. This is so incredibly useful. If you're out camping at the picnic table and it's dark, you're running your power station, you're charging your phones or whatever, um, you've got this and this extends way up and I can't show you how far up right now, but I'll do some screenshots. And it provides a light over the entire table. A lot of power stations have lights on them and I always complain about them because I honestly never use them. This does have a light on the front. And the thing about Anchor, even the lights on the power station, I actually like because it's a nice warm white light. It's not a really harsh, cool blue light that, that kind of hurts your eyes at night. So the actual light on the power station itself is nice, but these things, they're incredible. And not only, I mean, you don't have to use the mask. With the magnet here, it'll stick to anything magnetic. So the only thing I have around me is this piece of uh, sheet metal, but it'll stick to that. So you don't have to use the mast. Uh, a lot of picnic tables around my area have, you know, uh, a canopies that, that you can stick to the side and use it that way. And it's something new, something different. And I think it's actually useful. I don't think this is a gimmick. I, this is, I love it. That's all I'm going to say. And this power station is, I think, like the, the perfect size to carry with you on a, on a weekend trip. 768 watt hours is gonna get you by most of your stuff. And it's not very big, it's not too hard to carry around, but folks, let me talk about the efficiency on this thing. So I did a DC and an AC capacity test, and the results were the actual best that, that I've had, I think, on this channel. So, so I did the DC capacity test first. So I hooked up my DC capacity tester, charged this thing up to 100%, let that DC capacity tester drain the battery all the way down to 0%. I was able to get out of this battery on the DC side, 687 watt hours. That is 90% efficient. For the DC capacity, that is incredible. Industry average is around 80 to 84%. So 90% efficient on the DC output. Now for the AC capacity testing, this is where this, this power station blows everything out of the water, okay guys? So I, I charged it back up to 100%. I hooked up my watt meter. I ran a 250 watt space heater off of it, let it go down to zero, and I was able to get out of this battery on the AC side, 722 watt hours. That is 95% efficient. I've yet on this channel to have a power station that is that efficient. So when you spend your money on this power station, you are getting most of the advertised capacity on this battery, okay? A lot of times you're gonna get 80 to 85% of a thousand watt power station. This, you're getting 90 to 95% of the advertised capacity. And again, that is the best results that I've had on this channel 
with any power station that I have tested and I've tested quite a few of them. So the capacity on this thing is outstanding. So you are going to get an XT60 to MC4 cable connection to run your up to 300 watts worth of solar. You have your DC charging cord that comes with it, which is the standard cigarette style to XT60 and no charging brick. So the charging brick is inside this little power station and you just plug it into the grid, plug this in, and you're gonna charge what they're calling hypercharge, I believe, and you can go from zero to 100% full in 58 minutes on this thing, full top off in less than an hour. It does have an app, so you can connect to this thing remotely, and the app from Anchor is actually pretty user-friendly. It's a very nice app. There's not a whole lot of tricks that you have to figure out on it. So you can kind of see here by the screenshot, you can see everything from your solar input to your AC grid input to all of your outputs. You can change a few settings. You can check the firmware, make sure that your firmware is updated. Um, but the good thing is you don't have to use an app. I know a lot of people don't want to have to go register or, or give anyone email addresses. This power station works just fine without an app, but it is app compatible. So that's another feature of this power station. So now let's do a inverter test on this real quick though, just to show you the 1200 watts continuous works just fine. Got my heat gun here. Let's click this button to turn the inverter on. And right now this is gonna show an output of 1,348 watts back down to 731. So I'm gonna get this thing as close to 1,200 as I can. A little 500 watt space heater. And that's pulling 1,020 watts. 1,230, so we're over the continuous rated right now. You can probably hear the fans did kick on. Now we're below 1200, 1150 watts. Okay, now a good test for these units is, it's running is pretty much max capacity. So I'm gonna check the voltage, 120 volts, running over a thousand watts. Now let's check the sine wave on it. Look at that, perfect sine wave. And we're not running a small load. This is a, this is a heavy load for this power station. We're at near capacity running 1092 watts off of a 1200 continuous rated inverter. Okay, so let's get these things kind of cut off now. And you can hear the fan cycling down. I will say the fan is a little bit loud compared to some other power stations. You can definitely hear it. It's got a more higher pitch kind of whine to it than a real low rumble, I guess. But uh, it's nothing that I couldn't get used to, I guess. But that was again running at almost 1200 watts. So. Um, you know, you've got, like I said, 10 ports on this. You've got five AC 120 volt outputs. You got a 100 watt and a 30 watt USB type C output. And you got two quick charge USB A's. And then of course your standard 12 volt cigarette style uh, output here. And that's about it for this little cool little power station, I think guys. Again, I think it's the perfect size for a quick weekend getaway. Um, and it's, you know, Anchor has, Anchor builds really nice stuff. I have a lot of their just very small phone charging power banks. I've had them for years and they still work great. Um, Anchor, they, they build solid, solid power stations. Um, they're up there in the ranks, in my opinion, with Blue Eddy. And uh, I don't even like EcoFlow anymore, to be honest with you, but um, they, Anchor builds some nice stuff. So I'll put a price down here below on the screen. I don't honestly know the price of this thing yet because they haven't released it to the public as of the date I'm making this video, which right now is the end of February. This is being released in March. So here's the price as of release uh, that this is gonna be. I hope it's a good price because I think this is gonna be a very, very popular power station for uh, the weekend campers or you know, just to keep it, keep it in your home. It does have a UPS feature on it as well. So we are connected to grid now. I've got a light array. Okay, and I will disconnect it from my grid source and we'll get the light over here, hopefully, where you can see it. I know that's bright, but three, two, one. Slight flicker. So it's not gonna be a really, really fast switch over time. So I wouldn't recommend probably hooking this thing up to you know really sensitive servers or computers. But if you're trying to keep like a fridge running, a freezer, a fish aquarium, uh, this will do just fine. So there's really not much else I can say about this little power station. I love it. The efficiency on it blows everything out of the water so far that I've tested here. And uh, I, I just think it's going to be really popular. And with the, the, the addition of these little camping lanterns on it, uh, it kind of gives it its own 
brand new little segment in the market because nothing else that I know of has anything quite comparable to these little lights on top. So gang, Anchor Solix C800, and I'll leave a link for this power station down below in the description. I'm not an affiliate of Anchor, so I do not get any money uh, if you use that link and buy it. But just to help you find this easier, go check out the link if, if you like this power station. So uh, gang, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching and take care.